We're going to begin with the latest developments of the Scaheri limousine crash case and trial. Prosecution calling several witnesses to stand today who provided new perspective on the vehicle that was involved in that crash. The witnesses are associated with Mavis Discount Tire in Saratoga Springs. That's where the limo company's operator, Nauman Hussein, took the vehicle for maintenance in the months leading up to the tragedy. Uh, News to ABC, Skyler Eagle covering this trial from start to finish. Uh, joining us now live. Things got a little heated there in the courtroom at times, uh, Skyler. Yeah, John, Lydia, it was not a boring day in court to say the very least. We got a different perspective on some of the mechanical work, the maintenance work that was done on that 2001 Ford Excursion limousine from Virgil Park. That's the former manager of that Mavis location in Saratoga. And we also heard directly from two mechanics who worked on that vehicle. And we saw somewhat heated testimony, as you mentioned, John, during the cross examination between Park and defense attorney Lee Kinlan. Park said Mavis replaced parts of the rear driver's side brakes in May 2018, but there were other issues with the brake system that were not repaired because Hussein only instructed him to make the bare minimum repairs on the limo. Hussein also asked for an inspection on the limo, which Park says he was able to do because the limo was registered as a passenger vehicle with the DMV, not a commercial vehicle with the DOT. Park explained if it was registered as a limo with more than 16 passengers, an error message would have popped up on that state inspection system preventing him from performing that inspection and Park also told the court he was personally unaware of changes to transportation laws from 2011 that mandated stretch limos need to be sent to DOT authorized inspectors during a heated cross examination. He says he also charged Hussein for work that was not completed on the limo, including replacing the brake master cylinder, a brake system flush and a safety inspection. And he told Kinlan mandatory steps in the inspection were skipped despite records showing the vehicle fully passed inspection. The callousness with which they described their decisions, which led to safety violations, which led to the death of 20 people, um, with just kind of a dismissive, who cares, I just didn't want to get fired attitude, um, you know, affected me uh, as and, and clearly my emotion showed through today. Two mechanics who worked at Mavis also testified talking about the repairs they made to the brake system and the repairs they didn't make, including the master cylinder. One mechanic says he objected multiple times to working on the limo and passed the inspection without checking the vehicle because he was directed to do so by his manager, Virgil Park. I think today also showed that his workers um, you know, didn't do the work that they were supposed to do. And, uh, you know, I, I really hope that that shines through. We also heard from David Roy. That's the New York State policeman who saw the limo transporting passengers in August of 2018 in Saratoga Springs and flagged it for several DOT violations, including not having the proper registration, inconsistencies between what Hussein said the business name was and what the car was registered under with the DMV, as well as issues with the driver's commercial driver's license who was driving that vehicle at the time transporting those passengers. Well, the Latest on day four of the trial as well on air and online beginning tomorrow at noon. For now, live in Schoharie, Skyther Eagle News 10, ABC.